Okay, we're here in Landover Wissa. We got Morgan and Maddie up here. I have Katie here. Hi. And we're on our way to go see Nancy, affectionately known as Nancy Betty, who is our, well, what would we call her? Our, our mercy mutt. It's our side business slash side volunteer group where we uh, hang out with the dogs in the port. And there was this one puppy we noticed uh, that was abandoned there and we ended up feeding the dog every night and then growing attached to it. And we were able to, a bunch of us were able to kind of pull some resources together and take her to the vet. And then Sandra Laco at the team's house was willing to take her in her compound. And it was this whole beautiful story. And am I missing anything? No, that was about it. <laughs> okay, good. And now we're on our way to go pick her up so that we can get her second round of vaccinations and then take her back to her new home. And it's been a really cool journey to see her go from living in a dirty port to living in this beautiful green, grassy, grassy Eden. So that's what we're doing, and we will uh, catch, catch up with you at the deck. Hi, Nancy! Hi! Oh, no. We got some ticks going on in her toes. We got her! There she is! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited, except for the ticks in her paws, which we need to take care of. Yeah, we it's are. hard just existing in this world. Um, but we're gonna take her to the vet now, so let's go! I'm Teddy Handelmana the public relation officer at the Sierra Leone My Welfare Society. So this is a welfare society that runs a veterinary clinic at Congo Coast, Freetown. We, we have about two more clinics, including the government-owned clinic at Tawai. And so far, so good. The people like dog here in Sierra Leone. Unfortunately, they cannot come here with their dog, some of them, to vaccinate or treat them for worms or skin issues because of financial constraints, but some of them who venture to come here will make sure if even they don't have enough money, we can help the animal because at the end of the day, one of the fundamental freedom of animals is from pain, injury, and disease. So this is our focus to make sure the animal has what, get what they want. We need funds to continue our vaccination and treatment in the community because when once we can have enough funds to buy drugs and material, and to get fuel and get some stipend for staff, we can go back to those communities who cannot afford to treat their dog. And we go there, we run free clinics that we've been doing for the last 18 or 19 years. And we don't want to have an incident where we can have some rabies outbreak. So that's why it's very, very crucial because that's one of the major zoonotic, that means um, diseases from animal to human that we need to deal with. And we've gone through a lot of emergencies in this country and the health system is not too prepared to have another emergency. So our main concern is getting little funds to make sure we have a little team to go back to the community that are far rich and those who cannot afford and make sure we go there and continue our locust clinic. How did Nancy do? She did so well. We had to remove yeah. a lot of ticks from her ears and like, her paws. Like a lot, guys. She didn't like that, but mm -hmm. it was good for her. We did it, she's doing well. There were some really sad puppies, but at least they're in the right place. Hopefully getting help. And uh, yeah, these are really cool people. I'm hoping that we can connect and support them because there are one, there's three clinics apparently, oh, okay. but it's all connected to the same organization. So yeah, and they're doing this work alone right now. So, <sighs> but at least they helped her. Antibiotics now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi, Hi. 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 Hi.
Hi. Good evening. Hi. Oh, it's good to see you. Hi. Is it dinner time? It's a dinner. Well, guys, we have another port puppy. Someone dropped this dog off. We found her tied up to an oil drum. And um, apparently she came from an abusive home. And they heard we like dogs around here, so they brought her here. But problem is we can't bring her on the ship. We need to get her out of the port as quickly as possible because the port's no place for grown-up dogs, let alone puppies. So back to the drawing board, trying to find a home for this little guy. Every night we're out here with Polly and Goldie and Rexy and a few others, right, Polly? <laughs> Okay guys, today's the day. Second puppy is breaking out of the port. My amazing friends, Hannah and Caroline, are taking the puppy in a KK because I'm currently at work, <laughs> taking a quick break to get them uh, on their way and say goodbye to the puppy, but uh, couldn't go to the vet with them because it's quite a, not all day affair, but several hour affair. <laughs> Gotta take a KK, get to the vet. And then we have someone from the British Embassy who's agreed to foster the puppy for a little while. Loki hoping he falls in love with her, but the deal was that we get her vaccinated first. So we're gonna get her vaccinated and then bring her to uh, the British High Commission place uh, where we will hand her off tonight. And I'm gonna meet the girls there later after work. So a second puppy, Goldie, is heading out of the port and hopefully Polly will be next. But it's much harder to home or rehome a geriatric dog who looks very sick and people call ugly than a super cute puppy. But I don't think she's ugly. I think she's beautiful. She's just been through a lot and I'm still hoping and praying we find a home for her soon. Oh my gosh, I just said that Hannah's coming to bring the puppy in this bag. Ah! <laughs> this is the content they want. Puppy is getting out of the port. Here we are. I am walking Hannah to the gate where she'll begin her adventure with Caroline. We don't know where she is. <laughs> We're gonna try to find the dogs, but during the day there's like construction going on so it's gonna take us a while to coax the dog out of hiding. Here's Polly. This is our next mission and the guard's gone off to help us find <laughs> maybe. <laughs> You're next. Okay guys, I came back to my cabin and look what I found. The girls raised all this money and left it for me to use for the dogs to vaccinate them, the, the port dogs. And I'm just so amazed because these, these girls, I literally told them I was taking Goldie to the vet or my friends were gonna take Goldie to the vet. Um, and then we were gonna go see Goldie after the vet appointment at the, her new home. and. They decided that moment to do the bake sale. By the time I get back to the ship, they have raised the money and now they're researching organizations in Sierra Leone that work with animals and that we can partner with. And I'm just really impressed. And so who knows what's gonna happen for these port dogs, but there's a sermon in this because you know what? These port dogs, they are also a part of this because they're trusting us when they've been taught their whole life to be afraid. Um, they're trusting us and there's something in there. So I'm gonna work with that and uh, see what happens for these dogs. 